Hey, Doug, I'm still here for Doc Sports, and today is November the 18th. It's a Thursday, which means we've got a lot of things to look forward to for the upcoming weekend, specifically football. Okay, but we have a lot of other sports going on at the same time. So a lot of good things coming our way this week. Uh, yesterday, Florida State, Florida State scores 59 points against Tulane. Here's the thing I could I couldn't figure out when I saw the box score. Didn't watch the game, but what well, couldn't figure it for the free play. Couldn't figure it out. Tulane shot 29%, and Florida State couldn't cover that. Mystifying to me. And the other part that was uh, highly unusual in that game, the and reason that Tulane covered, Tulane made 16 baskets. Nine of them were threes. That means they only made seven two-point baskets, and Florida State still didn't cover Oh, well, we move ahead. Hey, Rhode Island was good from the West Coast Wise Guys, so I got another play coming from them today. And we'll see if we can get 2-0 for you, okay, on the videos going for today. All right. Uh, you, one thing you can do is sign up for $60. Get a free place. Go to the Doug Upstone page of Doc Sports. In the upper left-hand corner, there will be a brighter shade of, of this color that uh, on a box that you can sign up for. Okay, a rectangular box. Sign up for it if you've never signed up. Because $60 worth of free play. Got football action this weekend. Coming off a good weekend. So got lots going on there. You can sign up and you can take that price with the $60 all the way down to $39. Okay, for my complete football package. Okay, right there. So take advantage of that. Uh, what's going on for today? Well, speaking of football, it's Thursday, as, as I mentioned. So we got a big football card. I'm looking at approximately 10 plays uh, for the upcoming weekend. Coming off a nice 5-2-1 week overall in college and pro football. NFL has been going very strong all year, 23-14. and 14. So looking to deliver the goods yet again this upcoming week, okay, in football going across the board. Last night had a NBA winner. Told you had a five-unit play. It came in. Okay, Oklahoma City got the job done against Houston. That's not news with Houston, but it's still, hey, still got to get it right. Okay, uh, and I did with Oklahoma City. So I'm coming right back with the six unit play tonight and the NBA. So you can get that at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. In the NHL, I have a triple play. That's right, three plays going in the NHL on the ice tonight. And in college basketball, I also have a three pack. Okay, coming your way, a variety. Two, I think it's two underdogs and one favorite on that one. Uh, so you can pick up those. All those are, are available at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports today. In fact, right now. Okay, so take advantage of that. Okay, let's get to today's free play action. Louisville plays Duke tonight. And let's face it, that's a terrible game, okay, on ESPN tonight uh, as they go up against the NFL Thursday Night Football, okay? For the most part, ESPN has just uh, puts out a sacrificial lamb of sorts. This one seems to be the worst of the bunch. Uh, but it, you know what it is? Let's face it, ESPN's not stupid. It's a better special. Put a point spread on it. You can get the pick, okay, on this one, going up against the juggernaut. So that's, uh, that's their way of... Uh, providing some entertainment for those of us that like to partake. partake, partake. Uh, Duke has lost six in a row. And of those six losses, only one has been closer than 25 points. Okay, so things are going. David Cutcliffe, great coach. He's done a fantastic job his entire career. Just seems to be running out of energy Okay, at this point in the program at Duke. Uh, with Duke in this stretch, they've allowed 44 points per game. Not going to get it done. Louisville, you can make the case that they're probably not going to be super enthused about this one, but I got a feeling that they'll be more enthused than you might think because they're 5-5. Five and five. So with a victory, that means they're bowl eligible. They got Kentucky next week. So take care of business this week against, uh, against a poor Duke team. I think that's what they'll be looking to do. And they're also coming off a very impressive 43, excuse me, 41 to 3 beat down the Syracuse last week. Uh, at this time of the year, Duke is strictly fade material the last few years. They're 0 and 7 against the spread in weeks uh, 10 to 13. And the Dukies, after they have allowed 42 or more points in uh, 42 or more points in their last game, 0 and 6 against the spread the next time out. Let's take Louisville minus the 20 over Duke on ESPN today tonight for our free play pick. Okay. Uh, again, the nice job by everybody with the uh, on the likes and uh, signing up as for the um, uh, YouTube channel. Okay. And uh, going along with me, 
try and provide as many winners as possible for you out there doing the best that I can. And um, and not just going just for t- TV games. I'm trying to get you the best games that I possibly can that I think can win. Okay. Uh, nothing against anybody else. Some people like to just to do TV games. Okay. Or whatever, or, or popular games. I'm looking to try and get you winners. Okay. Uh, Long term, 297, 222. The latest run is 3829. Try and do that. So keep hit, hitting the like button. Okay. If you hear what, if you like what you hear, along with signing up for and subscribing to the YouTube channel at Doc Sports. All right. The other wise, the other play is a wise guy play. And I know you're looking forward to this because they're on a five and one run. Okay. So I know that you're interested in this one in particular. They got South Carolina. Actually, as it turns out, uh, the note that I got, the one wise guy that won yesterday, um, he, he's on South Carolina and turns out, there's uh, two other of his uh, cohorts and my cohorts as well, uh, just in a in a different part of the world. Uh, they're on South Carolina as well. So there's actually three different wise guys that are on South Carolina tonight. Not saying that's going to make it a winner. Just to let you know that those are the facts. Okay. So I'll be back tomorrow, Friday, with more free play action. This is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.